Let's ride the Shanghai Metro. Woo! You just heard, but I just missed the train. Another one coming in two minutes. It's gonna be a bit more packed today, I think. In Jing'an Temple again today, but instead of walking a couple blocks in that direction, we're gonna walk a couple blocks in this direction to the other neighborhood that I used to live in, the French Concession. This area really left a super indelible mark on my Shanghai experience personally, and it's for sure my favorite area in the entire city. In the French concession, you're gonna find street after street of shops, cafes, old timers tending to throwback style flats. Like, have a look at this. Look how cute this is. This little compound I've just found. Beautiful. French concession is a place of character, a place of history. For the most part, I think, a pretty peaceful coexistence of contradictory ways of life. On one end, you've got the old timers living pretty slow and peaceful life. And then artsy people like this dude taking pictures of the traffic. Really nice juxtaposition. But it's cool. It's hip. It's where it's at. You know, it's dotted with bars and littered with clubs. You certainly don't have to look very hard if you want to have a good time here in the French concession. And God knows, the expats around here will be more than happy to put a couple away with you. How many girls do you know that would go on the other side of a glory hole? No. Yeah. <laughs> Make some bad decisions. Milk was a bad choice. Sharing the pain of anxiety the day after. This here is Yongkang Lu. Now this road used to be the preeminent party street in Shanghai. This used to be like the main stage at Glastonbury. There were just people from all over, pissed off their heads. And people live there. So after a while, they gentrified this place and it's totally different now. I've sort of set myself a goal of not using maps to try and find my old apartment. I caved. Had a quick look on maps. I was going in the right direction though, but I've got a lunch booking to make. Made it to the restaurant. Apparently it's super famous. It's been open for ages. I actually used to live on this street. Number 146 down there. Um, let's see how it goes. It's meant to be super yum. These are snails that traditionally used to grow in rice fields uh, and is one of the specialties here at this restaurant. Huh? Texas, perfect. Uh, so it's rice paddy snail stuffed with meat. Super yum. It's just said at the end, you can't get it because it's at the end of the uh, shell. You give it a suck. Oh, I don't have a place for the Chinese restaurant. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, So you can see it's covered in a bit of meat. Do you reckon they, they cut it up and then put it back in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go, it works. So what's this mum? Flash, right. flash fried yeah. fresh fresh water shrimp. Yeah. And it may be your season seasoned yeah. really fat with it. Mm. Wow. That's awesome. A bit sweet, a bit salty, crunchy, good texture. Mm. Very much tastes like from the south. Right? Yeah. The restaurant is called Trin, which is 
spring. It's delicious. We were lucky to get a table there actually. This is the street I used to live on. Super, super cute street. There's another busy restaurant. <clears throat> the menu's all in Chinese there, so I never had the balls to go. This is where I used to live. Right up here. Yeah, I used to live here. Ah, ah, ah. I don't think people here like to be recorded very much. <clears throat> Love this little mural. Super steep stairs. And that was my door.